Welcome to another Greyhack video. In this video we're checking out the nightly build in Greyhack, so the latest version of the game can now be played and tested uh, by accessing the nightly build. Information on how to access it can be found on the Greyhack Discord, and I have a link to the Greyhack Discord in the description. Uh, in this video we're going to check out uh, firewalls. I will probably make some more videos checking out the other new features, but for this video, we will at least try to um, uh, give an explanation for firewalls and explore um, that new part of the game in more detail. So I've rented this uh, server and we're going to use that uh, to test and uh, explain the firewall. So just SSH onto the um, the test server and then we're going to set up some firewalls so Uh, we need a shell on the um, server and then we need to use the browser and from the browser we can access the router and you do that by typing 192 168 01 and then uh, 8080 which is the port and by doing that you get into the routers um, page uh, the settings page and here we can of course uh, like I've shown in previous videos port forward but we also have another option now which um, is firewall I think you can maybe let's see here Okay, so firewall information has not been added to the help yet, but uh, you still have the port forward here if you want help with that. So for firewalls, you can add entries. And if you add a deny rule, that can be overruled by any allow rule that you put uh, together uh, in this list. So to explain that, let's for example say that we want to uh, give the server that we just used to connect to this. Uh, okay, let, let's let's back up a bit. Firewalls is essentially blockades that you can use to prevent certain IPs or ports to access your server. So imagine that you have this server right here and you don't want anyone to get into the server then you would just do deny everyone this would of course uh, make it impossible for you to access the server as well this would completely block it off uh, similarly if you wanted to for example uh, allow access to port 22 which was the port that we uh, used to access the server let's just do Uh, that's not right. The wrong IP. Let, let, we're just uh, looking at the, um, the network here. So this is the router that we rented. And uh, as you can see, we have a port 22 on, S on the SSH. Um, uh, the, the computer that we rented or that we just entered uh, has port 22 which is the SSH port open and let's for example then say that we want to allow people to access this port 22 then we would uh, select port 22 allow then we could have a specific um, IP that would be allowed to use um, the, or any IP uh, that's what you can decide with the firewall rules 
and as well we can decide what destination IP um, that the firewall will let uh, through to the this server or, or to this network actually the router protects the network uh, so we could say that the only LAN IP that is allowed to be um, entered uh, on this network is this LAN IP and then we will put that in here let's just do that so that's what that looks like um, yeah so that's how firewalls work now let's uh, create an example so you should be careful with the deny rules if you do this um, then you uh, and and exit the uh, server or if the game crashes or whatever if you for whatever reason puts deny any 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 like this then you will not be able to gain access to this computer again you will lock yourself out there are ways around this um, the firewalls uh, have a well they have several weaknesses but one of the weaknesses is that there are exploits in the router that can be used to disable the uh, firewalls we will look at that later um, so be careful with clicking save on a setting like this because we don't know if we will be able to get back in again therefore I recommend that you first create the allow rule and then save that and after that you can uh, play around with what kind of deny uh, rules you want so we want to be able to enter port 22 and we want to only allow our server right here that kind of access that means that uh, a hacker would have to hack into our route uh, our server um, this uh, shell that I have here 14 246 this IP they would have to hack in here in order uh, uh, for them to then be able to hack into this uh, server right here so only that source IP is allowed and as for the destination IP I'm going to allow any so that means that you can both uh, connect to the router and to the so this is right here to the router you connect to the router and you can connect to the computer from um uh, uh, this ip so we save that and then we add another entry and in this entry we're going to say deny any 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 and by doing this the allow rule uh, is applied after the deny rule which means that uh, it will deny everything except for this um so now we can look at what that looks like I don't know if I don't think there are any tools that you can get from the hack shop yet that uh, shows the firewalls maybe I'm wrong on that but um, we can check it with um, uh, my tool right here so we can see now that there is a firewall and you can see what uh, IP so essentially the information that that is here has now also being uh, printed to my um, nmap tool um, this way this is one of the weaknesses of the firewall a hacker can figure out what the IP uh, is that is allowed onto this network and try to hack that IP so they would have to try to hack this router or this network right here to gain access to here and then they would uh, try to hack into this a computer or a network whatever so um, I guess we can test this and the easiest way to do that would of course be to um, what is best maybe, maybe I'll do this I will use my home computer 
put the password and then the IP and connection refused the target is behind a firewall so a connection cannot be established because we put in uh, the firewall rule now if we do the same thing from the server that is allowed access you see that we just got a uh, connection now for the weaknesses of the firewall so one of the weaknesses is that you can actually print the information um, given by the uh, or actually whatever a player puts in here can be printed and that way you can figure out what way um, has to be used to get onto the network. Another weakness is that sometimes the uh, router libraries um, have um, exploits that disable the firewall. Um, I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna just try an exploit here. So it's just running some exploits on the uh, router. And as you can see here, we found one of those exploits. Accessing firewall config, disabling, well, starting attack success, of course, and then firewall disabled. So this exploit removed the um, firewall that we've just uh, set up. Oops. So now, okay, that's not good. 192.168.0 like, like that and then okay, it's still there mm. what happens if we do this okay so it works um, but it, it was removed but um, the settings maybe they have to be no that's not it reset it again hmm Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, so you can still see the um, rules in the firewall. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's just visual. Um, the firewall was disabled by the exploit. And we should... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see it. This one has been changed from deny to allow allow any 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 so previously it said deny any so that way that is what it does when you run that exploit it changes the deny rules to allow probably yeah so now we can reapply it again but of course if someone runs an exploit um, that disables the firewall this doesn't actually matter so, to protect against this weakness, you will of course have to try and find a, a library that does not contain this kind of exploit. And um, then you would use that uh, library on the servers where you're using a firewall. Yeah, what else is there to say about the firewalls? Um, yeah, okay. There is another um, uh, thing to note about firewalls. So, what might be tempting is to put up a firewall on your home computer so you don't get hacked. So, if you just 
uh, deny everything on your home computer uh, then nobody would be able to hack you and that does not work because when you are accessing a Wi-Fi when you start you're not actually owning the network so the network you're on has admins and the admins can um, they both notice and change your edits to their routers so if you put in firewall rules in their routers uh, they won't like that and they will change that again so your protection might be good for a little, little while uh, and then uh, it will fail because the admins restored the uh, firewall uh, settings um yeah and again the weakness of the firewall is that it has to have uh, for it to make any sense if you want to be able to use the server i mean you could put up like a a website and firewall it off and nobody will ever be able to get into it but um if you want to be able to have access to and edit your website then you have to uh, put in uh, some kind of allow rule some kind of access point and since you can print the information um, uh, with a tool uh, that way uh, there is a way to track the chain perhaps back of firewalls to the original uh, computer maybe the original computer is your home computer and then a, a player would have to hack your network uh, in order to then hack onto the uh, firewalled um, computer i think that's it for the firewall video and i guess we are going to check out some of the other features uh, of the nightly in the next video i hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.